Google headquarters, fashion boutiques and restaurants, King's Cross has developed into an industrial luxury hub. And the UK government is hoping to do the same in Abeokuta, the capital city of Nigeria's Ogun State. The Ogun State is a really exciting part of Nigeria. There's lots of stuff going on in southwest of Nigeria. It's the business hub of the country. Uh, and so doing this sort of a project in Ogun State, uh, first of all, brings those benefits to that part of Nigeria, but also then provides a model for other parts of Nigeria. And as we do the work with Ogun State, through other engagements that we have right across the country, we're looking forward to sharing the lessons and help transfer those so that others can learn and others can follow that example if it works for them. It took 18 years and £3 billion to create the new King's Cross, with a portion of the UK's £80 million prosperity fund already earmarked for Green State. One of the architects who drew the master plan for the King's Cross project says he's keen to spread his expertise around the world. Well, I think it's very good for everybody, wherever we are, to look outside their immediate environment and see how other places are going about essentially the same task, they have the same challenges of making their cities work better. And that involves thinking about uh, both how new buildings and new projects can come forward, but also thinking how best to make the existing city work. And our experience here and elsewhere in London is that what's really key is the public world, the public realm around the buildings and how that's shaped uh, to ensure that not just that the buildings work well but that the whole experience of being in the city is, a, is going to be a good one. That's why he says showing the governor of Ogun what could be achieved in the state is important. The governor says the plans will help Ogun state achieve its ambitions of modernizing for the betterment of the people there. Abeokuta is a very ancient city. Uh, and we as, as a government have keyed in into um, ensuring that we have, we strike a balance between having a safe city, a resilient city, and a sustainable city. Abeokuta and Ogun State in general is um, the overflow to Lagos, which is the fifth largest economy in Nigeria. So there's a tendency for people to migrate between the two you know, cities, Abeokuta and Lagos. Records uh, indicate that 50% of our population live in urban cities. Another 10 years, um, there will be another 10%, 60%. So this is putting a lot of pressure on, on social infrastructure, on education, on healthcare, um, on waste management, and so on and so forth. So it is important that we begin to address these issues today so that we do not um, jeopardize the future of unborn generations. As the delegation continued its tour, anticipation for what a regenerated organ state would look like grows. The King's Cross area, found in the north of London, has seen its own wave of major development. The UK government, architects and indeed the leaders of Nigeria are hoping the same can be not only reproduced in Ogun State, but indeed across the entire country. Adefemi Akinsanya, Arise News, London.